I'm Bambi Francisco with a segment of Lessons for Entrepreneurs, and I'm speaking with Guy Kawasaki. Everyone knows Guy because he's been around for a long time talking about investments, and uh, and uh, now he's got this new company called All Top. And um, but you know, Guy, when I first met you, you were sort of still involved with garage technology, but you still are involved. Uh -huh. But so that's kind of the first question in terms of garage technology ventures. How has it changed in from 2000 or 1999 to today, because I well, know as far as lessons, you've actually it has oh iterated, God. right? Well, first of all, in 1999, Garage was a, a miniature or a boutique investment bank, and mm -hmm. our business model was we would help investors and entrepreneurs find each other and make seven percent off the top. Yeah. So that model went away when all of a sudden nobody was writing checks anymore because seven percent of zero is zero. So we went from an investment bank to an actual principal investor as a venture capitalist. Mm -hmm. And that's what the business model is to this day. Having said that, venture capital is very different now because uh, two guys or two gals in a garage with MySQL and PHP and Rails and uh, a bunch of open source things, WordPress, you could do a lot of damage for 50,000 bucks. It's a whole different world. Mm -hmm. So, Can your model work today? That old model, the old garage model, could it work today? A uh, boutique investment bank? Mm -hmm. No, because seven percent of fifty thousand dollars is too small a number. Uh, it, I ask because there are a number of companies trying to match back. and match entrepreneurs and investors. God bless them. Well, first of all, when you meet these companies, ask mm -hmm. them if they're a registered broker dealer sure. and ask them if their people are registered reps mm -hmm. because that's necessary and most people don't take that step. We had to become a, a broker dealer, and my God, <laughs> that was an exercise. And I had to pass a series seven and twenty-four and sixty-three. It's and complicated. I was way too old to study for that. Let's take. We are all twenty-nine. Did yeah. <laughs> you sold Trumers? You yes. started that, um, and it was basically for everybody to to um, like user-generated rumors, true, basically. True, true rumors. rumors. Yes. So, did it turn out how you expected? I mean was the product and is the product today what you thought it would turn out to be? Uh, I would say it's about 80% of what I thought it would be. What uh, was that and what is it? Well, today? I thought it would have a lot more kids SMSing in or text messaging in rumors and it would be much more of a just sort of a free-for-all. Mm -hmm. And it turned into something that's much more upscale. I mean, if people are really serious. They generate you know, really good stories and we check the stories and it's, it's like highly filtered thing mm -hmm. at the start the vision was have at it now mm -hmm. I guess you know CNN has their own have at it version right mm -hmm. which <laughs> said that Steve Jobs had a heart attack and he didn't right. but besides that um, so it was and truly Bloomberg issued Steve Jobs I guess obituary well so that like wasn't that. user generated that was yeah, Bloomberg that generated was Bloomberg, right? yeah. you know the mayor had a bad day that day I don't know <laughs> so uh, the vision was true user-generated free-for-all, and it turned into something much uh, more filtered and higher quality. After those lessons, and I'm sure there's a lot more, uh -huh. too, so this gets to the three pieces of advice for the entrepreneurs out there. Um, two, this is two entrepreneurs, and then okay. you can give us three pieces okay. of advice to, well, for investors. The, the first piece of advice I'd give them is something I learned at Apple, which is the best product doesn't necessarily win. Mm. Now. You could declare that Macintosh is a winner, but you know, <laughs> it, it has 5% market share. And uh, growing, I think it's And growing, but you know, we thought we would wipe MS-DOS off the face of this earth. Mm -hmm. And, and MS-DOS became Windows, and Windows became you know, Vista, I mm -hmm. guess. That's a, somewhat of an interesting direction. But anyway, but clearly we didn't wipe it out. So uh, that's a lesson that I learned. You know, it's not necessarily "quote unquote" the best product that wins. But these days, the product is the marketing because the people are marketing your product for them. The well, products the, get you know distributed quickly well, now. The people who, if the assumption is true that people market the products, that for sure you have to have great products. Yeah. I mean, yes, the the best product doesn't necessarily win. That's not me saying create crap. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big difference. Lesson number one, do <laughs> yeah. not create crap. Right, right. That's good. Well, uh, that's, you know, 1A. Uh, the second lesson I learned more for entrepreneurs is that too much money is often worse than too little. And entrepreneurs think, oh, I don't have enough money to do this. Funny thing, you know, when you raise five million bucks, somehow you spend it. Yeah, that's crazy. Somehow you spend it. And, 
you start throwing launch parties and you print t-shirts and somehow it goes away and arguably if you had none of that you would just focus on the product and your customers so yeah. the second lesson uh, the third lesson for an entrepreneur is cash is king it's not about paper profitability it's not about how often you can use the word strategic or partnership cash is king and as long as you have money coming in the door uh, you know you can keep the lights on to mix several metaphors and many entrepreneurs lose sight of that they think that you know somehow that they're after eyeballs and market share and brand awareness and all that but wow I mean yeah. Now, VC will Especially fund you. Particularly yeah. these days. Yeah, you particularly want these days. to operate as though you're going through a nuclear well, winter. I well, what they don't that. understand is a VC, when they write the check, you know, they think that's the, just the great the day, end right? Goal. Yeah, that's, that's the day you really start working. Yeah. So now you're working for somebody else. Yeah. And you, you have a, a leash of, I'd say, a year. So for a leash, you can really, uh, for at least a year, you can really screw up, right? Yep. Because every VC expects your software to be late and buggy, even though you say it's perfect and on time. So, for a year, and, and you're going to be communicating with your VC, and they're going to love you, and you're going to think that you're just like kumbaya and all that. And there comes a point where the VC just flips, mm -hmm. and it goes from lots of promise, I understand the difficulty, keep going at it, we believe in you, we believe in this management team. And then one day, it's going to flip, and they're going to say, I've done enough. We put enough money into this. It's not working. I'm going to try to find a strategic home for you in our portfolio. So we're going to combine two crappy companies and make it into one good company. And it just totally catches entrepreneurs by surprise. They have no idea. The last board meeting, everything is hunky-dory. You know, we believe in you. We're going forward. We're going to stick with you. The next meeting, we're going to shut this company down. Oh, yeah. And they should prepare for that. Yeah, what somebody said, uh, Chris Larson from eLoan and Prosper said that one day feels like they're serving you a banquet, the next day feels like you're going to be hung. Yeah. Um, these are customers and investors <laughs> who make you feel this way. Um, set setbacks or failures? One setback, one failure, personal to you, that's made you a better entrepreneur. What is it? Well, uh, the setback and the failure, you know, the mother of them. It's really, I, I really thought working in the Mac division that Macintosh would have 100% market share. Seriously, I, I mean, we, were, we were like, absolutely believed that. And it never happened. So uh, that's quote a setback. Could also view it as a failure. Not many people would. Because but, you were the evangelist. You were trying yes. to get people and they really, well, they didn't. You know, if somebody said okay. to us in 1984, best case, in the year 2005, mm -hmm. 20 years later, you'll have 5% of the computer business. Mm -hmm. We would have slid our wrists. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm not doing wrists. this. Yeah. yeah. Changing so. sides. Okay. All right. Well, Guy, thank you so much. <laughs> We're going to have another interview with you. We're going to talk about your investments. Shirts? Yeah, we should change shirts <laughs> now. <laughs> Put you in a Vader t shirt. Okay, right. thanks, Guy. I've been speaking with Guy Kawasaki on Bambi Francisco, and this is Vader TV. Thank you.